Time tests have become the biggest thing in the educational world. This all began in the 1959-1960 school year when the ACT was invented and started being given to students. This can be a very good thing or a very bad thing for students, but most of the time it is a truly bad thing. The reason this is so bad is some students get very nervous, some do better than they should, and it isn't a true measure of intelligence. This is a serious problem because a lot of children may miss out on things that they would not miss out on if the tests were not timed. Time tests can scare you to death. Many kids only do one exercise a lot of times in a row, then a different one a lot of times, causing them for, to forget things rapidly, Henry Rodiger once said. Students get nervous because they see things that they haven't done for a while and have trouble with it. This can cause kids to have severe anxiety for they don't understand what's going on and it's hard for them to get back to where they can answer the questions after this. Some do better than they should. Some kids that are smarter than others have trouble with time tests and can't do as well as ones that aren't as smart. Haley Edwards once said. Many aren't good at time tests and get nervous while others that aren't as smart don't mind time tests and can keep their minds straight. These kids get nervous and can't think straight, which causes them to not know some of the things they normally would. At the end of the test, there is also a time period where you have to guess, because a lot of kids don't get done with the test. This means that if the smart kids answer the questions correctly that they should know, and then get to the end and don't guess correctly, they can make, still make a bad grade. Whereas the kids that don't mind time tests can get all the questions that they actually read wrong, but guess correctly and still make a higher grade than the smarter kids. Intelligence isn't measured accurately. With the questions left at the end of the test, guessing is oft often needed. This causes luck to become involved and allows some that doesn't do good to get a good grade, Barbara Kantrowitz once said. When kids go through the test and get every question right, they'll then miss the ones they guess at, but some other kids miss half the questions and still get all they guess at, they make the same grade, Barbara Kantrowitz also said. Many times these kids that aren't as smart get more money for college than the ones that have worked hard and to understand everything. The kids that work extremely hard in class and work even extremely hard outside of class at home may not get as good a grade as the kids that guess correctly on the test. And this is very unfair for them because they have put so much time and effort into their schoolwork and making a good grade on tests that they still don't get enough money. And this could knock a lot of kids out of even going to college where it could bring the kids that don't want to go to college into the picture for going to college. Now you know that time tests are a bad thing. You can really hurt, it can really hurt some kids. The kids that it does, does hurt are the ones that have worked extremely hard, are able to do math and science. Many, many times people look back at kids' AC ACT scores and off of those decide what they can think about the kid. But really this shouldn't be used because of the inconsistency inconsistency of the time test. 